Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday morning to everybody. Happy trading today. I uh, wanted to give an update on Zion Oil and Gas to technicals and just kind of give you some updated support and resistance levels moving forward. So before I do that, just to reiterate guys, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research before investing. Also, if you find value in today's video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. If you're new to the channel, we go over financial independence. We talk about uh, saving money, budgeting, and a big emphasis on the stock market. So if that's something that you are interested in, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. So uh, we're taking a look here at Zion Oil and Gas, guys. Uh, we hit uh, a couple weeks ago 27 cents. And so every you know week, week and a half, I like to update the Fibonacci retracement levels because they do update uh, themselves as the stock moves higher or lower. And I like to just update them as the time frame kind of moves along. So we currently have a low of 27 for this particular time period, which is the 180 day four hour and our high is still $1.74. So now our floor or support is going to uh, be 27 cents. OK, and uh, we're looking like we're setting up for a big push to the upside. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to be, but we have you see this big uh, bull flag here and I think we could, you know, maybe trade sideways, uh, but uh, reason being is we keep finding seems like we keep finding some support at about that 35 cent mark but without any news we could continue to bleed down and potentially test that 30 cent mark i don't know if we'll get as low as 27 again but i think that if we continue to fall and bounce off of that 35 cent mark that is really really good for uh, us moving forward for a huge push to the upside okay so your first key resistance level is 58 cents which we could easily easily get there and push through that um, within a day in my opinion okay as fast as this thing can move sometimes uh, we need to get above about 55 cents and hold in order to confirm that we are in a longer term uh, trend reversal which means we're in a longer term uptrend and that we're going to continue to move so so I know a lot of people uh, are kind of frustrated right now because at the shareholder meeting, they said they'd give us updates every two weeks and things like that. But, you know, if there's nothing to report, there's nothing that's going to come out, guys. And that's one thing kind of keep in mind is they're they're not out there doing work to to basically make us rich right there. <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice for us to get paid off of this investment, I know, but they're out there with a, a goal in mind and they're they won't update us unless they have something, even though they said they'll give us something every two weeks. So the, the, the every two week type deal may not, they may not come out and say, Hey, you know, this is what we did the last two weeks. It may just be this general bland and vague email from John Brown. It may be that they're releasing this video like they did on the TBN network. Those are, those are updates, although they're not really huge updates. Okay. So, I'm assuming that when something does happen, they are they are going to let us know, or at least some type of uh, operational update. I would expect an operational update, guys. Hopefully today, if not today, then next week. Even if it's just kind of a general, like we're we're at this current depth, we're projected to finish on time. I did reach out to Zion Oil and Gas yesterday, and they said that everything is still moving like it should be although there's just no updated news yet. So uh, operations are still a go. Everything's going well. We just don't have any updates. So we just got to continue to be patient. I, I feel like I've been saying that for a long time, but we have to continue to be patient. So today is the day where I'm going to be looking to average down some more. I was hoping actually it'd fall down to about the 30 to 27 cents again. But like I said, it's holding strong at about that 35 cent mark. So I'm looking at buying some more today. And next week, if we don't get any news by next week, I see it bleeding some more down to possibly 30 cents just temporarily. And then I'll buy more next week. But I'm for sure buying some more today to average down. And in anticipation that hopefully, if not today, then maybe next week, they'll give us some type of, at least some type of small update that'll start pushing this forward in the right direction. And then hopefully on the back half of July, at least it'll start moving a little bit 
you know, in anticipation uh, for them to announce uh, the completion of the drilling. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to provide that quick update to you on the technical side of things. And I give you a key update on support and resistance. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are, what your plans are. And um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you today. Hope you have a great Friday. Catch you in the next one. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.